Hi there, Moira McDonald here. Uh, got a wee junk journal today for you. Um, it's not terribly big, it's an envelope junk journal. It's six and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. There are 18 pages offering 36 writing surfaces. Over and above that, obviously, you've got a variety of uh, tuck spots, doilies, book pages, um, and some designer paper that on the other side can also be used for um, writing surfaces. Uh, the front cover I have decoupaged some actual decoupage paper on it from I think it's a Centauro Gorgeous paper that I used and I've run round the top and sides with some gold sparkly washi tape not sure if it will show up terribly well. Um, I've put a doily here and I have an image of a pretty lady which has been die cut and it's layered on top of book pages. The, there's a little bit of lace here and here, some handmade paper and I've got some paper flowers, bring it in so you can see them with uh, it's paper rosebuds I think and uh, I'm not sure what they described the wee white flower as uh, and some paper leaves and a little die cut tag down the bottom. It's uh, tied with a piece of seam binding which I've dyed using tattered rose from, uh, what's his name, Tim Holt. So, if I can go through the first pages and you can have a wee quick look at it. Um, managed to get this wee stamp the other day, an ex Libris stamp, which is Latin for pretty much the, the gist it is this book belongs to, so it means that whoever gets the book can put the name there. The inside again is a, a decoupage Santoro Gorgeous paper. Um, I've done the Sagita thing, but I've used a bit more structure this time rather than just torn pieces of paper. Uh, this was a rectangle that had been die cut and I tore down it and used half on one page and half on the other and I die cut some wee sort of shabby chic styly paper. Uh, the paper by the way is coffee stained and there's only one signature. Uh, another wee bit of the book page in the hearts and a little doily here and in the corner I've got some stamps which has been stamped out using a uh, I think it's a memento ink called Rosebud. Uh, here we've got our first tuck spot up here. Just a wee bit of ephemera and a wee paper envelope. Not get anything in it uh, with a little bit of layered lace and fabric on it. Book page here. And some more stamping down the bottom there of the little perfume bottle. And a wee bit of, what's her name, Martha Stewart's uh, edger. Book page here again and some hearts that I've die cut. And this is the first of the designer paper. And it's from, it's from a paper pad I've used before. Uh, sorry, trying to get it in. Vintage Colours Romance by Craft Sensations. Not expensive at all. The paper's actually very heavy and could easily be used as cardstock. So you open up and you can write in the surfaces there. That's a Martha Stewart die cut again. Uh, we've got a perfume bottle here and a little bit of washi tape. It's quite shabby chic this wee book. Uh, we've got a wee bit of fabric here. Bring it up so you can see that. A wee bit of fabric and a couple of laces. And it's providing a wee tuck spot or a little bit of ephemera, a little paper envelope from a book page with um, some decoupage dress paper on it. And we've got that Sue Wilson dye that Sagita uses quite regularly. A bit book page, little rows. That's been stamped. Oh, got another tuck spot here. And we've got a 20 francs note 
A bit of ephemera and a tag I made using one of Sonami Rose's um, images, one of her ladies. I just cut the corners using one of the corner punches from Martha Stewart and layered up paper, a uh, book page and paper underneath. I'll try and let you see it with some stamping and stamped on the lady as well. Right, here was a oh, here we are down here. Another designer paper book page from that uh, paper pad I was showing you. And in here we've got another little uh, envelope that I made up with the image of a little girl drinking a cup of tea. That's been decoupaged from a napkin. And inside is a wee tag with some stamping saying create magic. You can of course write on this page if you're using it for uh, journaling. And we've got Sigita's die again. And a doily. And here's the image of, this is from the Graphics Fairy. Uh, downloaded some images from her the other day. I just layered it on a piece of uh, paper that has been coffee stained. Incidentally, all the coffee stain, and I don't know if it will show up in the camera, but all the coffee staining in this book, I added a little uh, of the gold perfect pearls to it to give it a little sheen. And it's very attractive. Oh, die cut a wee heart and put it on the lady. A uh, wee bit of washi tape up top and a bit stamping down the bottom. Another wee kind of index card tag with an image from Rainbow on Etsy. And did a wee bit of the uh, fabric up the top here. A wee bit stamping. So you can write away to your heart's content on the back. A uh, book page here, book page, and, oh, hearts on a string, added a little bit of glitter, don't know if it'll show up here, a minute and we'll see if we can, oh, might see that, okay, some of the, what is it, the, the wee sparkly things are called, hold on a minute and I'll dig them out, got them in one of my drawers here, ice stickles, that's it, Um made another kind of big tag. This is very big. It's too big for the book, but it's nice. Um, die cut the corners using the Martha Stewart punch. Did a wee bit of stamping. Layered up some lace. Oh no, it's not lace. That's some um, handmade paper. Book page, designer paper, and some of the fibres and a little gold button. And one of the Mucha images. Oh, sorry, Mucha images. Mucha. It's, it's because it's written as Mucha and I always joke about it. In fact, my son had said to me when I first did the first Mucha um, junk journal, he said, you know, since when did you like the Mucha, Mammy? <laughs> oh, I always liked the Mucha, son. You just didn't know it. Right, so here we go. Another, uh, don't know if you'll see the sheen on the page here. It's really hard to show you, but I don't know if it's showing up. Book page here, another wee tuck spot with fabric. It's just layered ruffled fabric that I sewed together with a piece of ribbon and some laces on top. Bring up to let you see. See, you not know, okay. And a wee tag I made. Um, got some corrugated tags the other day and I've layered a wee bit of paper on. Used some of these Tim Holtz uh, chit chat words, die cut a keyhole and a little brass key. I've got a laugh, see, when you're using these um, chit chat stickers that Tim Holtz goes, you can't, you can't write anything coherent with them. They don't make any sense, do you know what I mean? It's, it's impossible to actually find anything that, that comes out as sensible. Um, what did I say? If I discover another place, there you go, take a key and open a door and you'll find somewhere else. That's as close to sense as you'll get from those. Right, here we go, another wee stamped image up here in the corner, doily here, and another one of the images that I got. She's pretty, isn't she? Another one of the images I got from the Graphics Fairy, and I've die cut a heart from the sort of shabby chic paper down the bottom. And layered it all on the tea stain, oh sorry, coffee stain paper on the back. 
So you can jog along or not if you want. And uh, Sagita's da a uh, die there. Book page here. A bit of washi here. I like this washi. It's kind of. Let's see if I can get you up close to it. It's uh, like hairdress and stuff. Wee lady and wee bottles of perfume and things like that. Another new touch spot here with a little circle of flowers. Uh, made this up with some stamps I got the other day. Is it Thinna Bear stamps? They came all the way from America and took the better part of oh, about two and a half weeks to reach me. I don't know why stuff takes so long because whenever I post a journal, generally speaking, it gets there within a week. But whenever I buy anything from the States, oh well, it's anybody's guess when you're going to get that. Right, so it's butterflies with dare to spread your wings and I've stamped don't forget to fly because let's face it, if you spread your wings and you don't fly, you're going to fall flat on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you must all think I'm mad. Uh, may well be right. Um, little die cut. Uh, well, not die cut. It's a little envelope. Nothing in it, but it was part of a downloadable kit I got on Etsy. I'll give you the name of all the Etsy shops in the, the wee bit at the end. Uh, a wee bit of butterfly down here. Wee lady. Again, it's got a wee bit of fabric here. Shabby chic. There goes the wee lady. Is she in there? And we'll put her in there anyway. I don't suppose it really matters where she goes as long as she's happy. Uh, book page. And here we have another wee tuck spot. And we've got a wee kind of book tag here. Which has got Chatelarow on it. Chatelarow is actually twinned with Hamilton where I live. And there is a Chatelarow Primary School, and there is a Chatelarow House, which is a wee kind of stately home, which is used for wedding receptions and the likes. A wee bit of ephemera, and another wee tag I made with one of the MOOCs images, layered up on uh, some stamping and book pages, and a wee bit of lace, and the corners cut using the Martha Stewart cuts. That's next. Oh, a blank page, but oh, some stamping down the bottom, some wee roses. There's a wee bit doily and a little bit of washy up the top. Down the bottom here, this isn't actually a tuck spot, this one, I've stuck this in and it's just ruffled fabric again with some lace um, on top of it. And that's it. Now, this little book, let's sit up like that just now. This little book is actually up for grabs and as far as if you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and you uh, ideally like my videos um, and leave me a comment, I really enjoy the comments, I will pick someone at random at some point in the future. Now today I'm uploading this on Friday the 12th of May so what if we leave it till next Friday? So that will make it what the 19th of May. Lunchtime next Friday I shall draw from the names of people who have commented and whoever is pulled out of the hat so to speak will win this wee book because I've now got over a hundred subscribers and uh, well I'm absolutely delighted. I never, never saw this coming. Um, who would have thought anybody would want to listen to me, never mind over a hundred people. If only I could command that presence in real life. Anyway, there you go. If you like the video, ideally subscribe as well and you must leave me a wee comment. Your name will be entered into the draw and I'll get back in touch with you after next Friday. Okay, thanks very much folks. See you later. Bye bye.